What's good, Star Wars fans? Some pretty big news came out today regarding Lucasfilm and the future of the standalone Star Wars movies. With Disney, according to Collider, deciding to scrap any current standalone movies that were in development, such as the Boba Fett and Obi Wan Kenobi projects. However, other sources claim that Lucasfilm has only decided to put plans for more spin off movies with the A Star Wars Story title on hold rather than terminate them indefinitely. Instead, opting to focus their attention on Star Wars Episode 9 and what the next trilogy of Star Wars movies after that will be. Personally, I think this news is really bad for the fans, especially with the Kenobi movie not happening anymore. Or at least, not for the foreseeable future. Say what you want about Solo or the Boba Fett movie, but I'm pretty sure majority of the fans, both those that liked and disliked The Last Jedi, wanted to see a Kenobi movie happen. Funny enough, I'm also seeing those folks that decided to boycott Solo now claim that they won their battle with Lucasfilm, and that Ryan Johnson won't be getting his trilogy anymore. Which no, that's not what's currently happening here. Because as early as yesterday, Ram Bergman, who's Ryan Johnson's right hand man, revealed that Johnson's trilogy is still happening but it's still at a very early stage of development. So sorry guys, but Johnson's trilogy is still happening. And all this Disney news means is that the A Star Wars Story spin-off movies are cancelled, not the Johnson trilogy. As for my take on the Johnson trilogy, well, I'm still indifferent about it. One part of me is curious to see where it'll go, but at the same time another part of me would not shed a tear if it were cancelled. And honestly, I'm also really surprised it's not. Looks like Lucasfilm are sticking to their guns here. Also, some other minor interesting news that came out regarding Solo A Star Wars Story and the May release date. Which apparently states that Lucasfilm actually wanted to push the movie's release date back to December, with Disney putting their foot down and saying no, as Disney had enough of all the previous delays of the other movies, and told Lucasfilm that they would be granted the time and budget in order to make the production changes they needed, in order to fix anything broken of Solo but that they had to make the May 25th release date no matter what. Yikes, so that explains a lot, and this story is really telling that even Disney are really getting annoyed with Lucasfilm at this point. Of course, solo bombing at the box office certainly didn't help, and I wouldn't be surprised if Disney will themselves start to make some changes over at Lucasfilm in the coming months, which should look pretty interesting, both in a good and a bad way, we're, we're gonna have to see. Anyways, that will do it for today. For all your Star Wars news, keep it here to Silo. This is N7 from Silo, signing off.